a culvert is a covered channel of relatively short length designed to pass water through an embankment. It is a hydraulic structure. From a hydraulic perspective, a dominant feature is whether the culvert run full or not. A culvert consists of three parts, the inlet, the barrel, and the outlet. The cross-sectional shape of the barrel may be circular, rectangular, or multicell, a multicell box culvert or a multicell pipe culvert. The bottom of the barrel is called the invert, and the barrel roof is called the soffit or obvert. The training wall of the inlet and outlet are called the wing walls. This photograph illustrates the inlet and barrel entrance of a multicell box culvert. The hydraulic design of a culvert is basically the selection of an optimum compromise between discharge capacity and head loss or afflux on the total cost of the structure. The latter encompasses the design, construction, maintenance, operation, environmental cost, cost of upstream flooding, and risk of failure. The afflux is a rise in upstream water level caused by the presence of hydraulic structure. The afflux is a quantitative measure of the upstream flooding caused by the culvert, in this case. As part of the first part of the design, the function and purpose of the culvert must be chosen and the design function condition must be selected. Next, the culvert size must be selected for the flood capacity, taking into account a number of additional design constraints. The cost must be minimum, the afflux must be small, or minimum. The embankment height may be given or may be part of the design. Scour protection is typically required in the outlet. Consideration for the passage of fish on aquatic life might be relevant. A wide range of flow patterns may occur as illustrated with a few examples. On the left, free surface inlet conditions, and on the right, submerged flow condition. There are a few examples among very wide range of possible flow patterns. This movie presents the standard box culvert experiment at the University of Queensland, operating with a submerged inlet, but an inlet control, and not the free surface flow in the barrel, as well as the strong turbulent dissipation in the outlet. During the second stage of the hydraulic design, the barrel size is selected by test and trial procedure. Both inlet control and outlet control calculations are performed for the design discharge. The optimum size is the smallest barrel size, allowing for inlet control operation at the design discharge for the maximum acceptable afflux. Inlet control means that the barrel flow conditions are controlled from upstream and the upstream water level is unaffected by the tailwater condition. Basically, critical flow conditions take place in the culvert barrel. Conversely, outlet control implies that the barrel flow conditions are controlled from downstream by the tailwater condition. Any change in tailwater level is associated with a change in the upstream water level. Note that for high tailwater condition and very mild floodplain slope, Physical consideration suggests that outlet control by fuel may be hydraulically more efficient. The hydraulic design of culverts is a seminal application of the basic principle of fluid mechanics on hydraulic engineering to hydraulic structures. They are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist. Finally, the design of a culvert that is intended to be constructed would require the certification of a professional civil engineer.